Hey guys, Jess here with your look at the week in entertainment. It's time for some, you guessed it, wood. Today the Expendables get some heavy hitters, Eddie Murphy heads for the Oscars, Beetlejuice returns, and the future of Back to the Future is now. All that plus this weekend's new releases and our latest giveaway. Sly, Arnie, and Bruce, now that is what we're talking about. Deadline is reporting that The Expendables 2 will feature the holy trinity of action stars, all in substantial roles. Of course, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Bruce Willis had cameos in the first film, which starred Sylvester Stallone, but now it looks like fans are finally going to get what they really want, Dutch Rambo and John McClane all kicking ass together. Can I buy my ticket now, please? Meanwhile, Eddie Murphy has been announced as the host of next year's Oscar ceremony. The show doesn't air until February, but we're already wondering which Murphy will show up. The foul-mouthed master of stand-up from back in the day, or this one. Now, here's a reboot we can get behind. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies author Seth Graham Smith is working on a new Beetlejuice movie. Reports indicate that the idea is to advance the storyline of the original, so it's not really a remake. That said, it's too early to say whether or not Michael Keaton, Winona Ryder, or Tim Burton will accompany the ghost with the most's return. Either way, I feel like singing Deo, but I'm not going to. And speaking of blasts from the past, we now live in a world where you can buy your own self-lacing Nikes just like Marty McFly had in Back to the Future 2. Frank Marshall, producer of the original trilogy, has been dropping mysterious tweets about the shoes recently, including a video featuring a closet chock full of them. Nike is expected to announce the sneakers called Air Mags at a press event later today, which is mega cool, but where's my hoverboard? This weekend at the box office, Bane and Uncle Owen face off in the mixed martial arts drama Warrior. Nick Swartzen is unlikely to become a star with the comedy Bucky Larson born to be a star. And Matt Damon and Gwyneth Paltrow get a bad case of schniffles in Contagion. At the beginning, it's, we, we had a long conversation about that scene in the hospital because it's about, it's about the shock that he's in. He's just so not expecting his wife to die that the, the information, he can't, even, he can't even internalize the information. And now it's time for our giveaway. Today we are handing out two Blu-rays and one DVD of Spartacus Gods of the Arena, courtesy of Anchor Bay. For your chance to win, email us and tell us who the most kick-ass gladiator is. We'll randomly select the winner and congratulations to last week's winner. By the way guys, today is Star Trek's 45th anniversary, so make sure that you like the wood, watch some Trek, and live long and prosper.